A common practice in fishing tournaments is to run Calcuttas. Calcuttas are simply side pots, or in some cases, side bets. In this case, Jeremiah and I have a little side bet going where if he loses, he has to pole vault over my kayak into the Mississippi River. I don't think this one will make the eight inch. Are you, you're wearing that? Is that the pole vaulter official uniform? I started pole vaulting when I was in middle school. I was pretty successful. I went to state three times in, in high school, placed twice, and then went on to college here at UW Lacrosse. I made it to nationals four times. I was an All-American once. My personal best is, is five meters, so about 16 feet, five inches. Do me a favor and try not to get too excited when you see me putting my power pole up and down today. <laughs> Most athletes, fishermen included, have some type of superstition like baseball players hopping over the foul line or rally caps. Jeremiah's is a little bit unique in that it's a good luck charm and a fashion statement all rolled into one. It's not enough that he regularly wears the socks and sandals ensemble, but he also coordinates it as part of his outfit. Superstition, maybe. Fashion crime, absolutely. <laughs> the big key to this uh, smallmouth fishing, especially on the top water, is the hook set. And really to be able to hook set like this, you need to derive the power from the socks in the sandals. So by having my foot up on the ledge in these socks and sandals, I'm really able to drive that hook home. Socks and sandals, baby, all day. So this small mouth is pretty beat up if you look at its fins. And that's from protecting its bed. Predatory fish come in and they keep them away with their fins and they clean off the beds with their tails and keep it nice and clean, free of debris. And that's what happens. Smallmouth, I think, are the prettiest fish there are. I just think it's a gorgeous fish. I love living in La Crosse. I came here for college and I haven't left. This is an outdoor lover's paradise. The fishing here is obviously incredible with being on the Mississippi River. We have 119 species of fish here. So obviously great bass fishing. This is actually the driftless area. So when the Ice Age glaciers came through, they actually missed this area. That's why we have these beautiful bluffs in our backgrounds. So if you're looking to have an incredible time, get out into the wild, enjoy some great outdoor recreation, La Crosse is a place for you. I beat that guy right over there, Jeremiah. He now has to pole vault over my kayak into the frigid Mississippi. I'm not really sure what motivates someone to become a pole vaulter. I flew helicopters and airplanes in the military, and I have a great affinity for being in the air. I just don't see myself doing it by running as fast as I can with a fiberglass pole and sticking it in the ground and trying to fling myself over a bar. In fact, I don't know if they make a pole big enough to do that. <laughs> 